Hey guys, welcome back and now in this video, let's see how to get the OnePlus launcher with Pi Recents, the OxenOS version on any phone running Android Pi. In order to get the launcher installed, routing is must. So flash Magisk via TWRP and get your phone rooted. And here I've used the Magisk 18.0 version for routing my Poco F1. Now download these two files. One is Quick Switch, which is a Magisk module that enables Android Pi Recents on supported third-party launchers. And the other is a OnePlus launcher modded APK file. Installation of Quick Switch module can be done by flashing the zip file via custom recovery or open Magisk Manager, Hamburger Menu, Modules tab. Hit the plus icon at the bottom of the screen. Now navigate to the folder which contains Quick Switch zip and select to flash it. Once the flashing is done, hit the reboot button to finish the installation process. After reboot, install the OnePlus Launcher APK. Then open Quick Switch app from the app drawer and here change the current recent provider from whatever launcher you have on your phone to OnePlus Launcher and again reboot your phone. So we are back, now the final step, change the default launcher to OnePlus Launcher. If you are running stock Android, then go to settings, apps and notifications, advanced tab, default tab and under home app set it to OnePlus Launcher. So that's it, we have successfully installed the OnePlus Launcher based on Auction vs Pi. This is the launcher home screen. This is the app drawer. As you can see, the launcher also supports hidden space, which allows you to hide apps from the app drawer. But this version of the launcher doesn't include OnePlus shelf to the right side of the home screen. Instead, you get the default Google search screen. If you look at the other things about the launcher, changing wallpapers is buggy. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But you can add widgets and there is no problem with that. If you go to the home settings, you can enable swipe down to access quick settings which is working fine. You can set the app drawer to show all apps or quick search. Although the quick search feature is working, there are no category tabs like you find on OnePlus phones. Next you can change home screen layout, add more columns, change icon size and you can also use third party icon packs and the launcher version is 3.1.5. Next, moving on to the recents, you need to long swipe from the bottom to get to the Oxen OS Pi recents menu. The new recents work fine, here if you want to enable the split screen mode or to lock that particular tab, then you need to hit the three dot menu on any open tab and you also have the clear all tabs button just above the home pill. The OnePlus launcher is working fine on any phone running Android Pi irrespective of the custom OS skin, but the Oxen OS recents menu will only work if you have custom ROMs based on AOSP or close to stock Pi ROMs which have the new Pi recents menu support. I've tried to install it on my Redmi Note 5 Pro running MIUI 10. The OnePlus launcher worked but I didn't get the Pi recents menu. Finally, if you want to get the old Oreo recents menu on your phone, then open Quick Switch app again and set the current recents provider to system UI and then like every time reboot your phone. This old style Oreo recents won't work with OnePlus launcher, so you have to use any other launcher like Quick Step or Launcher. This is the old Oreo recents menu and the split screen mode is also working fine with it. That is all for now, thanks for watching and I will see you all soon in my next video.